morning, Mayor and Council. My name is Teresa Bastian. I'm a resident of District 8, a member of the Austin Board of Realtors, the chair of ABOR's legislative management team, and I've been serving clients in our community for 11 years. Today, I'm speaking in favor of item 75, and I'm asking council to immediately allocate $40 million to rental assistance that would be available for both tenants and landlords. Based on information I have seen in the news and on social media, there appears to be a misconception that all landlords enjoy large profit margins and can sustain the absence of full rent payments and that they don't necessarily care about their tenants. As a realtor who manages a small number of properties for my clients, I'm here today to help correct this misconception. The property owners that I personally represent are not large corporate companies, but instead are individuals who only own one or maybe two homes in Austin, and they're terrified at the thought of going without rent payments. For example, one of my clients is currently stationed overseas with his family on a U.S. military base in Italy. Their home in Austin is the only home owned by that family, and they fully intend to return to our community when their job allows. This military family relies on each month's rent to maintain and pay for their family home until they can move back to Austin. Fortunately, their tenant has been able to pay rent during this crisis. However, my client does have anxiety about what he will do if he's faced with a situation where his tenant is not able to make a rent payment because of the pandemic. His anxiety is compounded by the examples we hear from other property managers experiencing tenants who are purposely not paying rent and directly telling landlords they're not going to pay, citing the council's 60-day grace period, or the fact they cannot be evicted because of the mayor's order. My client's anxiety resurfaces every time we near the start of another month since this council placed the unnecessary COVID-19 restrictions on small landlords. This is the same anxiety and experience that all of the small landlords I represent are going through. Small landlords shouldn't have to bear the brunt of the financial impact of this pandemic without similar relief and assistance options provided to others. Allocating additional funding to rental assistance and making it available for both renters and small landlords will go a long way to help everyone. Thank you for your time and public service during this crisis. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and council members for allowing us to speak. I'm honored. Uh, I am Susan Horton, a landlord, a small landlord, a realtor, and president-elect for the Austin Board of Realtors. I currently reside in District 10. I am here today asking for your support of number 75 for full rental assistance for landlords and tenants. I'd also like to ask for better communication with the community as to the value of open communication between tenants and landlords. As a landlord, I value my tenants. I care for them in a very special way, and I care for them because they take care of my property. I strive to protect the integrity of the community that we own properties in. We value our tenants and appreciate their taking care of the properties for us for today and the future. What affects our tenants affects us. And during this difficult time, we reached out to our tenants more than usual, checking in on their needs and offering assistance, letting them know that we are in this together. We encouraged open communication and made it clear that we had no intention of eviction. Again, all we asked is that they communicate with us what their needs were and that we agreed, um, and they all appeared real grateful for that. The ordinance came out, and our goodwill just went down the drain. This ordinance has become a shield for some of our tenants to use as a means of not communicating and a free pass not to pay their rent. We had tenants send us the ordinance in the email saying, this says I don't have to pay. Another said, this says, I have too much. We had our attorney create a document to explain what the ordinance said and the intent to better help our tenants understand that they would eventually have to pay all their past due rent. This ordinance put landlords in a very bad way. The trickle down effect of the tenant not paying rent leads to the landlord not being able to pay the mortgage, the taxes, the insurance, and or upkeep. Everyone suffers, including the community. 
I am asking again today on behalf of landlords and tenants that you support and allocate the $40 million for rental assistance and create a pathway for landlords to directly uh, access that assistance. I want to thank all of you for continuing to support the community with your hard work and your dedication and your leadership. And I want to thank you again for allowing us to speak. Have a good afternoon.